Hello viewers. Welcome to the channel Amazing Civil Engineering Studies. Time to enter the world of civil engineering. Here we will learn about different concepts related to civil engineering. Please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more new updates. In today's video we are going to discuss about Carpet Area Built Up Area and Super Built Up Area of Building What is Carpet Area? Carpet area is the area that can be used to spread a carpet inside the house. It is the net usable area of the apartment. It includes the thickness of the internal wall but excludes balcony or terrace. Technically, the distance between inner walls is carpet area. Also, it will include staircase only if it is inside the apartment, but balcony, lift, lobby, etc. will not include in carpet area. This is the area of the building which is available for a working area like, bedroom, bathroom, living room, etc. In this, we don't include the area of the wall or thickness of the wall. This is a sable floor area where we can spread a carpet. So, the carpet area is about 10% to 20% less than the plinth area. Carpet area equals built up area area of wall. Going for a house purchase and still confused how carpet area is different from built-up area? Carpet area is the actual area you get for use in a housing unit. So when you are in search of a house, look at the carpet area and then make your decision because that is the number that will give you an idea of the actual space at your disposal. Focusing on the carpet area will help you understand the usable area in the kitchen, bedroom, living room, etc. Nowadays, Many builders do not even mention carpet area at first and usually charge on the basis of built-up area or super built-up area. Carpet area is usually around 70% of the built-up area. How to calculate the total carpet area? There are several ways of calculating carpet area. Firstly, you should know that carpet area is 70% of built-up area. For instance, assuming that the built-up area is 1,000 square feet, your carpet area should be 70% off 1,000 square feet, which is, in this case, is 700 square feet. So your carpet area is 700 square feet. What is built up area? In easy words, built up area is the carpet area plus the area covered by walls. The built up area includes balconies, terraces, with or without roof mezzanine floors, and other detachable habitable areas such as servant room, etc. You should also know that walls which are shared with other units are factored in at 50 per center while other walls are computed fully. Built up area is also called plinth area. The total land we used to construct the building is known as the plinth area or built-up area. 
It is also called the built-up area of the building. It includes all members of the building like column, wall, beam, etc. Its measurement is taken from the exterior part of the wall. It means the plinth area cover all thickness of wall as well as column. So, plinth area equals floor area plus area of wall. Equals carpet area plus circulation area plus thickness of wall. How to calculate built-up area? Logically, built-up area equals carpet area plus areas covered by walls. Generally, it is 10 to 15 percent more than the carpet area. This can be understood with this following example. Suppose, Areas covered as dry balcony, terraces add up to the 10 per center of the built-up area while the usable area is just 70 per center of the built-up area. So, if built-up area is 1,000 square feet, it implies that 30 per center i.e. the 300 square feet is not usable while 700 square feet is the remaining area that will be used. What is super built up area? Super built up area is the built up area in addition to the proportionate share of entrance lobby, corridors, staircases, lift shafts, lift lobby, generator rooms, clubhouse, security room, and any other common areas in the complex. However, underground sump, water tanks, walkways, swimming pool, open sports facilities, weather sheds, Inaccessible flower beds, lofts shall not include in super built up area. The super built up area is a combination of built up areas and common proportionate areas like parks, gym, playground, etc. Super built up area equals area of building plus parking plus playground etc. Calculating super built up area Since super built up area factors in the common areas such as elevator, veranda, clubhouse, etc. Developers consider 1.25 as a multiplying factor to calculate super built up area. This increases the total saleable area by 25 per center. This percentage is called loading. Few developers tend to quote loading figures while computing saleable area. For instance, if the carpet area is 600 square feet, the builder adds loading of 30 per cent, you have to pay for 780 square feet, whereas you are using just 600 square feet. What is plot area? The total area which is surrounded by a boundary line is known as the plot area. This is the total area of land. Simply, you cannot build any structure beyond the boundary line. Yes, that line or boundary included land is known as plot area. What is setback area? 
The empty space around the building is known as the setback area. It means the gap area between your boundary line of land and building is called the setback area. Setback area equals plot area build up area The benefit of providing a setback area is you can provide a window towards the built up area to get proper air and also it prevents fire from your closest building. Difference between carpet area and built up area Plinth area slash built up area the plinth area is defined as the built-up covered area of a building measured at the floor level of any story. It is calculated by taking the external dimensions of the building at the floor level excluding plinth offset if any. Balconies, open areas, courtyard, and cantilever projections are not included in the plinth area. Difference between carpet area and built-up area of building The following which should be included in the plinth area. All floors, area of wall at the floor level excluding plinth offset. Internal shafts are provided for sanitary installations these do not exceed 2 square m in area air condition ducts, lifts, etc. The area of Barsaitai and the area of Mumti at the terrace level. Area of porches other than cantilevered. The following which should not be included in the plinth area. Area of the loft. Internal sanitary shafts provided which is more than 2 sq. Min area. Unenclosed balconies. Tower, turrets, domes etc. projecting above the terrace level, not forming astery at the terrace level. Architectural bands, cornices, etc. Sun shades, vertical sun breakers, or box louvers projecting out. Carpet area Carpet area of a building is the useful area or livable area. Carpet area is calculated by total floor area minus the circulation area, verandas, corridors, passages, staircase, lift, entrance hall etc. and minus other non-usable area as sanitary accommodation, air conditioning room, etc. Carpet area is the livable area and should exclude the pantry, kitchen, stores, and similar other rooms which are not used for living purposes for residential building, and for an office building. Carpet area is the usable area or lettable area. The carpet area of a building shall be the floor area excluding the following for any story building. Sanitary accommodation. Verandas. Corridors and passages. Kitchen and pantries. Stores in domestic buildings. Staircases and mumties. Entrance hall and porches. Shafts for lifts. Barzatice garages. Barzatice. Canteens.
Air conditioning ducts and air conditioning plant room. The carpet area for an office building may be 60% to 75% of the plinth area of the building with a target of 75%. The carpet area for residential buildings may be 50% to 65% of the plinth area of building with a target of 65%. Built-up area and carpet area Super built-up area saleable area Now let us consider this case. The rate is Rs 2000 per square feet and the super built-up area is 1200 square feet, then the base cost will come up to 24 locks. When there is more than one apartment on a floor, the super built-up area is calculated in a different manner. Let us assume this is the case. The area of apartment 1 is 1000 square feet. The area of apartment 2 is 2000 square feet. The total common area is 1,500 square feet, out of which the share of apartment 1's common area is 500 square feet while the share of apartment 2's common area is 1,000 square feet. Then, the super build-up area of apartment 1 is 1,500 square feet and of apartment 2 is 3,000 square feet. The super build-up area, as seen in this example, is divided in the ratio of the apartment's build-up areas, in this case 1 colon 2. Thanks for watching. For now, please subscribe, like, share and do not forget to press bell icon.